Okay, here we have a tree that has greening, and uh, we're going to look at some of the symptoms and to see if we can help uh, identify it. First of all, you can see that the tree has a, has a generally unthrifty look. Uh, there's some dieback in the tree. It's trying to flush back. Uh, the tree has been uh, topped and hedged, but nevertheless you can see that those symptoms. Now if we look at some of the foliage, we can see that it's, uh, a lot of it's chlorotic, and some of these chlorotic leaves uh, have typical symptoms of nutrient deficiencies like zinc and manganese. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, you can also see that some of them have uh, what we call blotchy model. And here we have an example where uh, the uh, chlorosis is not symmetrical. Here's one, here's another one right there. And that's a definitive uh, symptom for greening. We can also see that uh, the fruit, first of all, there's some fruit on the ground. Uh, second of all, you can see that there's some small size fruit. If we look at that fruit, uh, we can see that uh, some of it is lopsided. Uh, it's bigger on uh, this side than it has, is on this side. And uh, those are symptoms. We can also cut this fruit and see what it looks like inside, and maybe we can find some more signs of greening. So if we cut it longitudinally like this, okay, we look at this columnar area right here, you see the, the yellow, this is really necrotic phloem right here. That's an indication um, that uh, you have greening in the tree. Here you see what's causing the uh, asymmetry. You see that this column is, is curved to one side. Uh, you're really not seeing any seeds here. And here you see an aborted seed right there. That's another symptom of uh, greening affected fruit.